To use jack audio to connect Reason to compact, complete, or anything else, we first obviously need to go and download it from the website. I've chosen the 64-bit Windows installer, as I'm using 64-bit Windows, but you'd obviously download whatever's relevant for your system. Then you need to follow these instructions on the website about getting it set up with your ASIO driver. I'm using ASIO for all, which I recommend, but if you're using something different, you can adjust accordingly. So here, and I'll put this in the description, it tells you how you need to set up Jack Audio. You need to search for Jack Port Audio on your computer once you've installed it. I open the file location and then right click it again and click properties. And we need to adjust the target field to what it says on the website. Mine's a little bit different and you see that it says program files. Whereas because of where jackd.exe is located on my computer, I have to select program files x86. So if you look in your computer, go see program files, find where the jack in installation was, and then make sure that you've got this all set up properly, corresponding to your ASIO driver. So if it's ASIO for all, it will be exactly as you see here. If you have a different ASIO driver, you can check the name of your ASIO driver using your music program. And I'm sure with a bit of tinkering, you'll easily be able to sort this out. And this is a one-time setup. Once you've got this sorted, it's done for good. So once that's sorted out, you then want to actually open Jackport Audio by just clicking on it. And it'll open this command prompt like window, just minimize that out the way, leave it running. And if you check in your taskbar, you'll see your ASIO driver running. This is how you know it's working. It's running across Windows and anything you do in here will work in all of your audio programs. So I've just made sure that I've got my speakers selected so that all of my audio programs will be able to use the speakers. You can also here select your inputs like microphones or whatever you want to connect to any audio program. You have to configure it all here. Then go in your audio program. Here I'm in Reason and choose ASIO Jack Router as your ASIO device. What that's going to do is it's going to take a feed off of the ASIO Jack control panel. And you want to do this in all the programs you're using. So go into Contact or Complete or whatever you're using. I've done it in Amplitude as well. And go into the Audio Preferences. And again, you want to choose the ASIO Jack Router for a compact, complete, all of the audio things you plan on using together. So by choosing the same, it's all using that one control panel that's in your taskbar and they're all taking a feed off of it. So now to configure Jack Audio, we need to open Jack Control. We want to click on Connections once we're on here, or con the Connect button. And this will allow us to patch all of our programs together as if you're plugging a real cable between them. So first off, I'm going to click Disconnect All, just to start from scratch to show you how this works. And I'm also going to click Expand All so we can see all of the inputs and outputs we've got to work with. So what we want to do, on the left, we've got the outputs, and on the right, we've got the inputs. What we want to do is we want to connect contact to reason. So on the left, I'm going to click where it says contact five. I'm going to click and drag that over to where it says reason on the right. What this does is it routes the outputs of contact five into the inputs of reason. So by clicking and dragging on contact five and dragging it over to reason, you can see output one of contact five goes into input one of reason and output two of contact goes into input two of reason. So by creating a stereo track using inputs one and two in reason, anything that we play in contact will come through reason as you can see here, but you will notice that you can't hear it. So to be able to hear it, we need to route reason to our speakers. So I grab and drag the reason outputs and drag it to my system for playback so we can hear what we're playing. I can also change instrument, maybe try a vibraphone and you'll hear that works as well. So now we can play this back and you'll hear that it works perfectly.
Jack Audio is a great way of connecting two music programs together in a way they wouldn't normally be able to. So long as they use the ASIO driver, you can connect them in this way. I hope that that's been helpful for you. And if you have any questions, I'm here to answer them.